There are three key decisions that we make at every moment of our lives. Your patterns determine your outcomes, including your emotional well-being, your health, your wisdom, even your wealth. Understand your decisions in any given moment and you can actually start to take control of your desired outcomes. Now, every moment of every day, there are three key decisions that determine the outcomes of our lives. This is an incredible insight that actually came from the end of one of Tony Robbins' books, Money Master the Game. I love the quote that actually kicked off this section from the book from Henry David Thoreau. Wealth is the ability to fully experience life. A great quote and you can see the application based on each of these three decisions that I'm going to go through that we make at every given moment. So decision number one, what am I going to focus on? Throughout my life, I've had many mentors, coaches, teachers who've actually just encouraged me to be here now. When we focus on the past, we tend to bring up feelings of regrets. When we focus too much on the future, we tend to feel anxious. The only moment that we can actually do anything about it is in the present, the now. Or as Tony Robbins puts it, where focus goes, energy flows. What you focus on and your pattern of focus shape your life. So I ask you, where do you put your focus? Are you filled with gratitude? Or are you obsessed with what you don't currently have in life? Gratitude will actually bring about peace and happiness, while focusing on what you don't have will actually bring about feelings of anger, frustration, and disappointment. Moreover, are you focused on the things that you can control or the things that you can't control in your life? Now remember the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. When you focus on what you can't control, you cause yourself a great deal of stress. For example, you can't control how someone else treats you, but you can control how you respond. So once you decide to focus on something, regardless if it's the right thing to focus on or not, you actually shift your immediate attention to the next decision. So decision number two, what does this mean? Ultimately, how we feel about our lives has nothing to do with the events of our lives or with our financial conditioning or what has or has not happened to us, says Tony Robbins. The quality of our lives is controlled by the meaning we give these things. This is an incredibly important distinction and one that most people don't truly understand. One of my earliest black belt instructors used to tell me, when someone pushes your buttons, you should thank them. That drove me basically crazy. How could this be? They're pushing my buttons. To which we would, he'd ask me, well, why Shiraz? Why do you allow these buttons to, to, for other people to push? It took me some time to really understand this point, but eventually I got it. When someone calls you out on something, <clears throat> your own perception <clears throat> gives the event meaning. Do you perceive the person to be attacking you or perhaps teaching you or even loving you? We all have our built-in filters of how we perceive the world uh, which impacts our emotions, our state, and how we react to the exact same events that millions of others also experience. Or as Tony Robbins puts it, your life becomes whatever meaning you give it. Meaning equals emotion, and emotion equals life. So the trick is to assign powerful and empowerful meanings to anything that happens in your life. Do that, and you will not only grow, but you'll also find strength and a sense of purpose in most adverse and seemingly terrible circumstances. You cannot control all the events in life, but you can control how and what meanings you give and assign these events. So if you believe that all the events in your life happen so that they make you stronger, more powerful and more successful, even if they don't immediately feel that way in the moment, then the deep meaning and the purpose will saturate your life. So decision number three, what am I going to do? Given any event, you will decide to take some sort of action. The emotions that you're feeling, given the first two decisions of focus and meaning, greatly impact the actions you choose to take. Or as Tony Robbins puts it, the actions we take are powerfully shaped by the emotional states that we're in. If we're angry, we're going to behave quite differently than if we're feeling playful and outrageous. Here's the thing, if you want different outcomes in your life, you need different patterns. How you see the world and where you spend your time thinking about things basically shapes the first two areas of focus and meaning. It's incredibly difficult to take the right actions if you're in a bad place emotionally. Most of us begin our days basically through mobile devices. <clears throat> Who's texted me while I was asleep? What problems await me in my email inbox? What horrible tragedies will the news bring to me today? What five things do I have to think about in the shower that I need to do on my to-do list? Sound familiar? How can we make important decisions when we start our day with negativity, negative thoughts, negative emotions? Now, an alternative approach is what psychologists call priming. And as Tony Robbins puts it, and as I kind of help people, I highly recommend it. After adopting this practice for the last four months, at the most basic level, it's about taking 10 minutes each morning to complete a guided meditation. There, 
are focused sections. If you incorporate priming into your daily morning routine, you'll start the day with optimal emotional states to be far more likely to focus on the right things and give positive meaning to the events that occur throughout the day. This positive emotional state will actually lead you to making the right actions, right decisions, and moving consciously towards the desired outcome. Now, in this way, you can make sure that you actualize the three key decisions we form at every given moment of our lives, the decisions that produce our desired outcomes.